What's up guys, Grizzly Wizard here, welcome back to the channel. I'm reacting to The Legend of Korra Season 2. Shout out to Nerd Chronic for editing this reaction for me and sneaking it past the Nickelodeon blockade. Um, we're halfway through a two-parter right now, The Civil Wars. And things are getting kind of crazy in the Southern Water Tribe, so let's just dive right back in, see what happens next. This is so messed up, they had nothing to do with the plot. Of course, this is just Unalak trying to remove opposition, further isolate Korra. I can't believe you're doing this to your own family. Rest assured, I've appointed Judge Hota to oversee the trial. He is the most fair and honorable man I know. Mm-hmm, and totally in your pocket. Where's Varric? We should have closed our deal an hour ago. Would you relax? This place is No, Varric's been arrested. And the best part about it, Eska doesn't know I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too late. We search for Varric. Our father wishes him to stand trial. Well, what did he do? He is a traitor to the Water Tribe, along with our aunt and uncle. What? Cora's parents were arrested. Notice how now it's just the Water Tribe, not the Southern and Northern. It's just the Water Tribe. Desna, let us continue our search elsewhere. Boyfriend, bow to me when I exit. <laughs> yes, my sweet koala otter. Oh, Bolin, you're so pathetically whipped right now. Bolin, you need to be honest with her. Tell her how you really feel. Honesty is for fools, kid. Eric? If you want to ditch this girl, oh my god, where is he hiding? Is he in the fucking platypus bear? Where are you? Somewhere Unalak will never find me. Inside Ping Ping! <laughs> god damn it. You can come out. No way, mister. Not until I know it's absolutely 157% safe. Ah, thank you, Julie. Your assistance in there too? <laughs> <laughs> you forgot the honey. Sorry, sir. There isn't any in here. No, honey? <laughs> God damn it. We're in a bear for crying out loud. You're in a platypus bear. Not the same thing. I got a little something for you round back. <laughs> wow. Now listen up. I'm done. I'm done with this. Juniper lightning bug. Pause off the table. This is going to be a civilized breakfast. Daddy always says a blessing before we eat. Oh. So... Be quiet and listen up. Hanging out with the young Sky Bison. Well, at least she's not like in danger. But we are most thankful because Milo and Dinora aren't here because oh. they stink. Oh, hi, Daddy. I guess you found me. Do I have to go now? Actually, is there room for one more? No. Oh. Nice to meet you, Blueberry Spice Head. And that's Princess Rainbow. And that's Twinkle Star Child. And that's Juniper Lightning Bug. Twinkle Star Child. That's a great name. Uh huh. Uh huh. No, no, he's nice. They say it's okay. <laughs> Sky Bison are cute. That was a very sweet moment. We're good to go. I gave all the money to some guys over there. I told them to take care of it. Oh my god, Bolin. Pretty sure they got the message. <laughs> this trial will now come to order. Judge Hota presiding. Man, I should have paid him. Oh my god, Bolin. According to Unalak's testimony, you attended a meeting where Varric tried to Tom Kane. the civil war. Is that true? Yes, but... And where exactly did this meeting take place? Objection! Quiet down out there! <laughs> He's doing his best. Varric and your father... He's trying. Indifferent. He's really trying. My parents are innocent! I'll return shortly with my decision. What do you mean you've heard all you need to? There's more evidence! There's more testimony! This is a sham trial! Hey there, Eska. I was wondering if we could talk. I grant you permission to speak freely. Oh, well, that's that's very magnanimous of you, Eska. You know, when we first met, there was this crazy spark, but I'm starting to feel like that spark is fading. It is as if a great chasm has formed between us and nothing can bridge it. Oh! Nothing, that is, except marriage. Oh, shit! <gasps> we will wed at sunset. You may express your joy through tears. This is DEFCON 3, Bolin. You've got to get out of here. This is your last chance. Oh, my God. <laughs> Literally choking him with the symbol of marriage. I have found you innocent. You are free to go. All right, the dad's fucked. Confirmed. There's no way that both parents are getting out. On the charge of treason, you are all found guilty. The punishment for this crime is death. God fucking damn it. This is so backwards! Okay, so Korra's gotta save her dad, take down Unalak, get all these Northern Water Tribe people out of the Southern Water Tribe city. You can't do this! You take their lives and I'll take yours! 
Whoa! I'll talk to him. You just threaten a judge in a proceeding? <laughs> but I must ask you to reconsider. Show these men and my brother mercy. Very well. No, this is a calculated move on Unalak's part. He wants them to owe him their lives. Will be spared, but you will live them out in prison. Oh, that's not much better. I guess there's relief to be had here because, you know, you can always escape from prison. You can't escape from a death sentence. So technically that does improve their situation somewhat, but it's still pretty bad. We should have Uncle Boomy and Aunt Kaya come visit. I bet they'd like it too. Let's not. <laughs> yeah, let's not. Aunt Kaya is super nice and pretty and always asks me how I'm feeling. And Uncle Boomy is like the funniest person in the world. What about Milo? He's hilarious too. You never know what's going to come out of his mouth. And Jinora can be so sweet and gentle. This is nice though. They're going to realize that they have the exact same dynamic with their siblings and find a way to love them for it. Oh, Look at this. Sky Bison's showing them the importance of a family unit. The nice part about a family is they'll always be there for you. Even though Twinkle Starchild and Princess Rainbow fight, they still love each other. We all know Twinkle Starchild started it. She's a bit of a Bart Harley Jarvis. Don't worry, Daddy. We'll come back and visit Blueberry Spicehead. I know you really bonded with her. Yes. I'd like that. Man, that was a really, that was a really nice scene. I really like Tenzin. He's a great character. Honey, are you all right? I'm fine. Good. Then let's bust you out of here right now. <laughs> Come on, Cora. It's not gonna be that easy. I'll be all right. Just promise me you won't do anything rash. Fine. I promise. Mm, that doesn't sound like Cora. It's okay, Mom. I... I hate feeling so helpless. I know. Yeah. It's like the damage is already done. Even if even if the father is released from prison today, this all this still happened. The trauma of this is still lingers. Oh, good. Here comes Cora to do something rash. Wait, are you chasing down the judge right now? Oh! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Sorry, but there's nothing I can do. I was just following Unalak's orders. What are you talking about? I I've said too much. Nope, nope. You gotta say the rest now. <laughs> just in his mouth? Oh, God. I I've worked for your uncle for years. He said he needed everyone to think the trial was fair. That's why he wanted to appear like he was the re reasonable one. But he also wants your father out of the way, just like when he got your father banished. What do you mean? He Wait, what? Oh, I just got chills. So he didn't do anything wrong. It was Unalak who fucked up the force, the spirit force, and then had him blamed for it somehow. Look, uh, I'm sorry I didn't turn out to be an airbender like you hoped. But I've tried my best to keep the world safe. Oh, poor Boomy. I hope I made you proud. Of course he'd be proud of you, Boomy. I, I was just, a. Uh... Come here. Thanks, Kaya. You always know when I need a hug. Poor Boomy. It's gotta be hard. And your father is the Avatar, trying to live up to that. He told them to hide in the Spirit Force, knowing my dad would go after them. Unalak wanted your dad out of the way so he could become chief. It was a setup. Yeah, he's been planning this for years. Will you help me or not? Of course I'll help. Me too. Count me in! Wait, you can move the arms? <laughs> I don't even want to know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the guy is supposed to give the girl the betrothal necklace. <laughs> I guess Eska didn't get the memo. I love that it's a little goth choker, too. His betrothal necklace came from Hot Topic. Oh, shit! My dad's in there. No, he's not. I'm sorry, Cora. You'll never see your father again. Oh, shit. Should have known. This was the predictable move. Bring him back, or I'm taking you out and the rest of your army. As the Avatar, you cannot threaten war. You must remain neutral. You've always been jealous of my father, haven't you? You got him banished so you could become chief, and I bet it just killed you to learn he was the Avatar's father. All I've ever wanted is to help you realize your destiny. Well, I don't want your help anymore. If you start a war, the Dark Spirits will annihilate the South. Why, because you control them? Oh, shit! Come on! 
It's gonna it's gonna take all of you guys to fight him. He's very powerful. But he's only got water. Still not as powerful as an air as an avatar. Oh my god, Bolin, is he trying to escape right now? You have a license for that animal? Uh Julie, do the thing. That platypus bear is pooping money! Oh my god. <laughs> that caused a distraction, but really the guards would have just let them through after that? Oh jeez, we gotta run a blockade. If Fuck. only we had a plane to get me close to those ships, I could water bend them out of the way. Well, why didn't you say so? Wait, excuse me? Oh, that's cool. Look, it's a biplane. But there's no runway. How are we supposed to take off? Julie! Take a note. Build runway. Yes, sir. <laughs> Come on, Asami. Now! Oh, cool. They're booster engines. That's sick, actually. I love it. See, this is the epitome of technology, technological advancement and bending working together. Avatar State, let's go! Woo, yes! Knock him out of the way. Captain, you're never gonna believe this. <laughs> that boat's being driven by a platypus bear. Nice. Oof, well, so much for the plane. They can always build another one. Nice. All of them overboard in one swoop. I love it. Cora, this is crazy. You promised me you wouldn't do anything rash. I had to. I'll explain later. Nice, so we skipped right over the part where they find the prisoners. Now we've just got them all on the ship. Sweetie, you're okay. Oh, I was so worried. Iki, I'm glad you're back. Yeah. Sorry we made fun of you. Wanna play airball? Sure. Yeah. Good. That's the way it should be. Smooth it over, kids. And I now you gotta to do the same thing, Tenzin. For how I acted yesterday. I've worked so hard to celebrate Dad's legacy that I may have overlooked the parts of him that were less than ideal. We're sorry for dumping our frustrations with Dad out on you. Yeah, you didn't deserve that. I thought you two might want to see this. No. Oh. One good-looking family, huh? Look at Aang. That's one happy family. Yeah, the best thing you guys can do to celebrate Aang's legacy is get along with each other. He loved all three of them so much. I feel like if the three love each other, then that's Aang's legacy enduring as a parent. I've been running from my past for too long. It's time to put my brother in his place. You have our support, Chief Tonrock. Does Tonrock have the skills to take on Unalak, though? I can help. The best way for you to help is by getting the President of the United Republic on our side. We'll need the United Forces in order to win this war. All right. I'll get you all the help you need. I feel like the Avatar going and appealing to the President directly is not the Avatar staying neutral. But only Unalak is saying stay neutral because it helps him, you know? I really need to thank you, Korra. For what? I started a civil war. Exactly! Now Esk and I are officially broken up. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we have company. Wait, they broke up off screen? Come on! I wanted to see that scene. What is that? Oh, shit. What is that? <gasps> ah! That would be my darling Eska. Is this thing fast enough to get away from my crazy, waterbending ex-girlfriend? Why do you think I built this boat? <laughs> God damn it, Barrick. And that's where... Oh, man. What a cliffhanger ending. Okay. This is getting good. This is getting really good. I feel like the plot has really taken shape for the season now. We know what's going on, what the main conflict is. And it's Bo Lin trying to get away from Eska, obviously. <laughs> oh, man, no. This is really good so far. Um, yeah, I can't wait to see where the story goes next. I'm probably going to dive into the next episode right here. So I'll keep this outro kind of short. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. This reaction was edited by Nerd Chronic to comply with fair use. Cut it down to 10 minutes in length. If you want to check out the full-length, uncut version of this reaction, it's available on Patreon. There's a link in the description of the video to the Patreon page. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this. Can't wait to see what happens next. I'm just going to dive right into the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!